What's going on guys? Griffin here, coming to you from my job this evening, my evening job part-time, my one of two jobs that I hate so much, which is why I am making these videos for you guys on how to sell on Amazon, FBA, and eBay. Um, we all like being our own boss, right? So that's what we do this for. Um, wanted to give you an update a week after starting Amazon FBA, a week of my items being active. They went active last Wednesday, as you all know if you saw my last video. If not, go check that out. <clears throat> and I'm also going to give you an update on eBay. I've been putting eBay off and forgetting about it the last few videos, but if you're a reseller, you know you need to sell on multi platforms. Every platform you can find Craigslist, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, let go, offer up anything just to make money, right? So I want to give you an update on the two I like the most, eBay and Amazon FBA. So first we'll start with FBA here. Let's get the camera turned around. So as you can see, we have done $401.54. Not too bad for first week if you ask me. I have spent about $700, $800 on inventory for FBA so far. Um, I just started using Inventory Lab last weekend, as you saw in my last video. If not, go check that out as well. Hit the subscribe and like button, as always. Thank you very much for doing so in advance. But, yeah, I've spent about $700, maybe 8 on inventory for FBA alone. And Inventory Lab for this last weekend's garage sale finds said I should be doing a couple hundred in profit. And I did my own math before getting an inventory lab on the previous four or five hundred dollars, and I should do about six seven hundred profit on that, so not too bad, right? Um, okay, so we'll go to eBay now, and this is from it says 60 day total, but I've only been doing eBay just over a month now, and I've done six hundred and fifteen dollars and fifty eight cents, which is why I actually started Amazon because. As you can see in a week, I've done almost what I've done in a month on eBay. Part of that might be my fault, obviously, for not doing as much research on my inventory that I buy for eBay. But not too bad still for being a newbie, right? $615. As you see, I have a lot of unsold. That is because one of my newbie mistakes was I was listing items for three days. So I don't have an eBay store right now. I'm just selling on my personal account and i wasn't reading up on the fees and i was just listing every three days because i figured hey if it's three days it'll be one of the first items to be seen right nope not the case and on top of that after listing 50 times ebay smacks you with a 30 cent insertion fee which i wasn't paying attention to until i got a i think 65 dollar invoice from ebay and i was like oh this is not gonna happen again right so I've just been listing them as 30 days ever since, and I actually picked this up in the green room, a tip that Young, I believe his name is, said that he does, is he lists his items for 30 days at a time, 31, whatever it is, and after about 15 days, if it hasn't sold, he'll just lower his price a few bucks and see if it sells, and if not, well, hey, it's a new month, he's not going to get tagged on an insurgent fee, right? Not a big deal, just keep adjusting every 15 days. So that's what I've been doing, and ever since I have, I've actually sold about $100 more, and I went from 18 to 21 the last few days. So, yeah, guys, um, just get in those groups. Get in Amazon groups. Get in any group you can find that you feel is best fit for you, and you're bound to have success, right? So, um, yeah, that's the end of this video. Go ahead and like if you like this video. Dislike if you don't. Don't really care either way. But be sure to like and hit that subscribe button, guys. I'd really appreciate it. And I have a lot more videos coming up for you all here in the next time. <clears throat> in the next time. In the near future. But until the next time, thanks, guys, and keep on making that money.